Is there patch notes? Overwatch 2 beta patch notes June 28th. Beta launches today. Overwatch 2 beta will be a cross-platform available to Windows PC, Xbox Series X, Xbox One, PlayStation 5, and PlayStation 4. Temporary change to quick play. With competitive play currently unavailable in the Overwatch 2 beta, we've made a temporary modification to our quick play queue, providing both roll queue and open queue as options. Quick play games will use competitive rule sets for each map's game mode. For hybrid and payload maps, both teams play offense and defense in the same manner as competitive play, with the winner determined by which team performs better on offense and other features. Uh, and all other features of quick play are unchanged. This includes elements such as matching handling we use and, and, and so on and so forth. Junker Queen, a pump action shotgun for her primary. It actually doesn't say damage numbers though. Interesting. Jagged blade, secondary fire, throw the blade and reactivate, pull it back along with any impaled enemies. Passive wound enemies with quick melee, throw or dealing damage over time. Commanding shot ability one, temporary increased health and movement speed. Uh, okay, we know what we know about all our stuff. Is there numbers? Is there any numbers? We just got to figure it out on our own. No numbers. Okay, that's interesting. Um, at a dynamic render scale. Okay, push. Push total time has been extended from 8 minutes to 10 minutes. That's a big change. That means the game is much longer, and I think it's a healthy change for it. Symmetra can now ping her teleporters for allies. Anna has VQO pings and visuals for her sleeping enemy. So if you ping a sleeping enemy, someone you slept, it probably gives you a different type of response, which is, which is big W. Uh, this place is a unique set of move, unmoving the last scene ping. Um, bunch more ping updates. Uh, somber hack opportunist, somber hack, mercy Valkyrie, widow infrared sight, confirm and cancel visual added. So like when you cancel a ping, uh, confirming a ping, inf confirming a ping informs your allies that you see their communication with contextual responses. That's like apex. That's a big W. Uh, last scene pings now have unique visuals. So you can be like, oh, last scene over there. Big. Uh, ping wheel updates, pinging the wheel, uh, open the ping wheel will automatically fire, also automatically fires a contextual ping. Um, pinging enemies when you accidentally open the wheel, okay. Uh, the ping wheel now remembers your location, your crosshair was aimed at when the wheel opened, okay. Uh, that's big, this is a big one because it makes it faster, you don't have to, like, keep dragging into it. World pings, now place the location, okay, okay, pinging while dead. Uh, for the first three seconds of a hero's death, the death dead hero can ping the enemy that killed them. That's huge. Holy hell. Um, scoreboard. The game scoreboard has been updated in multiple ways based on the amazing feedback. Completely reorganized the layout, bringing more, most important information together for easier viewing experience. Improved ultimate progress indicators. Now show numeric values. Increased transparency to let you see more of the game while viewing the scoreboard. All massively good changes. Uh, statistics. Assist, assist is a new statistic that inc it, that increments whenever a player earns that we've previously deferred as a defensive assist or an offensive assist. Damage mitigated, so now your shielding stuff actually is big, um, is now counted at. So if you sh block a lot of damage, it's on the scoreboard. That's big. Um, sound is updated, Xbox and PS5. Ilios, they added evening Ilios. Dawn, Lijang, Night and Oasis, Nepal, Morning, Usan, Night. Uh, I think some of these were actually in the last one. Uh, Circuit Royale, Night, Dorado, uh, Evening, 366, Night, Gibraltar, Morning. That's new. Uh, and then the new Rio map, Passario. Passario. Uh, these are the same. These are the same. Okay. Roll, support roll passive. Time activated to increase healing from 1 to 1.5 seconds. That's actually a pretty good change. Uh, damage roll passive. New. Swapping to other damage heroes maintains up to 30% of your hero's ultimate charge. So, I think it basically works incrementally. Um, so, if like, you almost have ult and you decide to swap heroes, you'll get like 30% back on the next heroes. Uh, previous movement speed passive has been removed. Reinhardt. Armor reduced from 350 to 300, health increased from... Wait, what? So, armor reduced from 350 to 300 and health increased from 300... That doesn't make sense. Okay, like, if you want to if you want to buff... If you want to nerf armor, that's fine. I understand that, but you don't even give back his full health. Like, or, I'm not gonna, I'm not trying to be mean, but are you fucking dumb? Like, that doesn't... What? 
Like, Raiden isn't even a, a pick in Overwatch League for a reason, because he's kind of outclassed by some of the movement ability heroes. Like, that is literally the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Um, no offense, man, but that's just dumb. Ryan is not going to be good this patch. Um, Winston, uh, projective barrier reduced from 800 to 700. Good change. Ultimate cost increased by 10%. I don't know if that was needed. I think this is honestly a good change on its own. Mech armor increased from 200 to 300. Mech health decreased from 450 to 350. Oh, so you do know how to do it. Um, so from 200 to 300, right? So you increase the armor by 100 and then decrease the health by 100. That's literally how you do that. That's... What? Um, okay. But that's a good good diva change. Makes diva better. Doomfist got hard nerfed. Holy f No longer slows enemies with seismic slam. Power block damage reduced from 90% to 80%? That's a massive nerf. Holy f Uh, <laughs> Doom was not gonna be that good, I don't think. Anyways, Arissa. Holy shit. Damage increase from 10 to 12. That's a big buff. Projectile size no longer scales with distance. Interesting. Projectile size, initial size reduced from 0.3 to 0.1. Okay. Critical damage bonuses increased from 50% to 100%. What? Damage fall off at maximum range increased from, reduced from 70 to 50. Okay. Maximum fall off range reduced from 15 to 35 and to 15 to 25. So they really want to make Arissa a brawl tank. 20% uh, movement speed penalty removed? Headshot removed. Okay, that's fair. That's a fair change. Uh, javelin spin cooldown reduced from 10 to 7. Speed boost reduced from 65 to 40. Knockback increased. Wait, she's never going to not have cooldowns already. What? Impact damage reduced from 80 to 60. Cooldown increased from 6.5 to 8 seconds. This was the best part of her kit. Like, why would you nerf? This was the fun part. This was the fun skill part. Like, I understand the damage nerf, but... New nerfing the cooldown as well is kind of odd. Um, Terra Surge max damage increase from okay. This is a good change. This is a good change. I don't I don't know about these. This is a little odd, but overall decent changes. Uh, tactical grenade cooldown reduced from ten to eight seconds. Good change. Uh, combat roll now grants fifty percent damage reduction for four seconds. Uh, okay. Jugrat fully locks movement again. Uh, projectile speed increased from 10 to 15. Projectile increased from 0.2 to 0.25. Uh, I honestly think that's pretty good. Junkrat was not doing too hot last one. Uh, reload starts at 0.25 seconds sooner when the ammo runs out. Okay. Concussive Blast now deals 30 damage and additional knockback on direct hits. Nah, this is just foolish. That is literally a foolish change. Um... Max... Sim, holy hell. Sim got huge changes. Maximum ammo reduced from... Uh, from 70 or increase from 70 to 100 no longer generates ammo when shooting barriers projectile speed increased from 25 to 50 max damage reduced from 120 to 90 max charge projectiles re size reduced from 0.5 to 0.4 ammo cost increased from 7 to 10 charge time increased from 1 to 1.2 seconds wow those are massive changes i wonder how some players feel about that one because i don't know i don't know how to feel about that build time reduced from 2 to 1 seconds now has a maximum lifetime of 10 seconds so you can't just leave it up forever now Cooldown increase from 10 to 16 seconds. Cooldown starts when the teleporter is placed. So if the teleporter lasts the entire time, it's a six second cooldown. Health reduced from 300 to 200. 50 health, 150 shields. Range reduced from 30 to 22. Ooh. Uh, travel speed increased from 15 to 20. Uh, the sim kind of got hard nerfed. Holy f That's wild. Uh, primary fire reduced from 0.6 to 0.5. And... Recovery fire reduced from points. Wait, Torb got hard buff. Torb was actually really good. Um, Torb Discord time to fall off the target, not in line of sight, would reduce from three to two seconds. That's just a dumbass change. Zen actually needs Discord nerfs, not time reduced. It's it's the damage. Um, Guardian Angel can no longer be canceled by using Crouch for the big vertical boost. Fair enough. Uh, now automatically launches you. Oh, now automatically launches you upward if you reach the end of Guardian Angel. Wait, so it super jumps for you? Angelic Descent will now additionally slow ascent speed if held, if not not just a descent speed. This means you can dampen vertical knockbacks such as Junkrat's Concussive Mine, but also reduce the amount of height that GA Vert Boost gives you. Uh, okay, that seems okay, but this is odd. I, Mercy Player is going to be f***ing big mad about that. Uh, a bunch of bug fixes. Let's go see some of the new heroes. Uh, okay, first up, let's see the big, let's see the big one, right? My throne is oh my is. god. Wow, she has a heavy feel to her, like thunk, 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 thunk. 
Okay. Her oh my god. So this is a Junker Queen. Junker Queen. Um Let's see how a regular shot looks. This is a pretty good amount of damage for a full shot. Kneel before your play. Okay, ready? Let's see a headshot. Oh my god. You got too close, didn't ya? What's the range on this thing? Oh yeah, that's actually pretty mind. good. It's not bad, actually. It's actually not bad. All right, let's see her dagger. Dagger time. That does a lot of damage. Oh my god. Yoink. Wait, hang on. Ready? If you wait a second, you can definitely you can definitely one tap him. Not bad. The wound. Not bad. Um, her shift. You put use it. Let's go win this thing. Holy fuck! It gives her six hundred and twenty-five HP. Did you see that? Can she one shot a tracer? Oh, yeah. Are you done? Yep. <laughs> um, her E, so her biggest swipe. Wow, that does a lot of damage. That's like a hundred damage. Hot enough. It's only buckshot. <laughs> oh my God! You can swing multiple people with it, dude. If you, if you actually. So if you treat it like a Rhine hammer, so if you play much Reinhardt chat, you can actually hit multiple targets with it. Holy hell, dude. You got too close, didn't ya? Hang on, I even have a better idea. Where's my oh my god, dude, what? Ready? Hold on, one shot combo. Knife, shotgun, start my E. Oh, I didn't. I didn't shoot. I'm stupid. There's a wind up on the swing, so you can't do it instantly. It's a little slow, but you can do a lot of damage. Last up, her rampage. Rampage. I want to see how far it goes. Oh my god! And then obviously it it, it anti-heals them, so there, it works like Ana's name. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but still pretty good. I think she's gonna be pretty strong. I think that the only thing that she might not do that well with is uh, Discord or hold on. Yeah. I have an idea. As the queen decrees. Uh, Holy, dude, knife. you can actually control them for so long. Because if you stick, if you're shooting at him, right, and then you just hit him with a knife, like you can, you can pretty much get two shots out. All right, let's see how far rampage goes. Okay, we're starting at zero meters. Time for the reckoning. Holy shit! About twenty-five meters. That's pretty far. Who got who got changes that we can actually like test? Um, Reinhardt HP and armor is less. I think Ryan's gonna be pretty bad, uh, to be honest with you, compared to Junker Queen maybe. Uh, Winston got uh, bubble nerf, so it's 700 now instead of 800. Um, Diva got more armor, so look at that armor pool. It's actually she's basically Brian but better. Like if you look at Diva's got the more. Actually, wait. Diva's got a, the same amount of armor as Reinhardt. That is actually unbelievable. With her having micro missiles, left click, and flight, like that's just fucking insanity. 
Uh, Arisa actually got pretty big changes. Arisa's projectile is smaller. So they changed the way her projectile works. It's much smaller now, but it hits harder. Oh my god. And that wasn't even headshots. Let's do headshots. Uh, Fortify no longer has the 20% reduction. So you just move at the same speed. All the time. So, uh, but you at least can be headshot. That is they really want the rest of it to be good. Oh my god. Uh, but the biggest change by far is this. The amount of damage she does. Plus her headshot multiplier is to 100% now instead of 50%. Um, and also her... She doesn't go nearly as fast with the spinny spear, but the time run is a lot lower, so she can pretty much have her cooldowns up at all times. Yeah. So Doomfist is kind of hard nerfed. Bastion grenade is ten, eight seconds now instead of ten. Eight second cooldown. Symmetra's got a bunch of changes. Her teleporter. It's got a timer now. Also, wait, they changed the way it looks. Look at the way Symmetra Teleporter looks! Hey, yo, that looks sick! What the f That was clean! Teleporter online. We move quickly. Oh, look at her left click! What? Nah, dude, wait a minute. Symmetra actually got the, the glow up of the century. Look at this! See a right click. Wait, wait, how much damage does this do? Wait a minute. If I fully charge it? Uh, 90? Is, is it 90? It's 90. 90 damage at that speed. But by the way, this is insanity. That looks beautiful. Let's see the turrets. Yeah, it's look, turrets look kind of normal. Uh, what else? What else got big changes? Uh, Arissa's ult did actually, you're right. Okay. So, how much health is Doomfist? 450, right? Or something like that? So, if I fully charge my Arisa ult, I should be able to kill him now. Yep. So, if you make it all the way to 500% on Arisa's ultimate, uh, it does 450 damage. So, Arisa's ult is strong. Do they actually giga buffed Arisa? That's wild. Oh, the Mercy. Mercy got a big change. Okay. Don't worry. So, right Mercy here. now, if you fly to the end, so I'm not going to, I am not going to um, do a uh, super jump. It should super jump me automatically. Oh my god, that's so weird. That is so weird. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know about that one, Chief. It just feels clunky. So the, the change was that if you hold sh uh, uh, Guardian Angel until you get to the target, like hold it the whole time, at the end you'll super jump automatically. Uh, this would be a normal super jump. That's an, wait, that, at least I think I did a normal super jump there. Hold on. That's a normal super jump versus letting it do it for me. Actually, no, wait, was it a normal super jump? I don't even remember. Uh, the other change, yeah, the other change is you can hold space bar to slow how fast you go up. So I can slow my jump, ready? So I didn't go that high. Hang on one sec. Also, but this is so weird because you shouldn't be able to guardian, you shouldn't be able to super jump at this range and you can. So like normally super jumping, you have to start like a decent little distance to like get a little bit of a starting spot. But now you actually just, 
Like, you can be basically point blank and then pop it. You just hold it. Yeah. Interesting change. I'm, I wonder how Mercy players will feel about that one. But uh, if I sleep... Doom. Perfect dreams. I slept the target. Enemy slept here. Enemy in sight. Oh, they changed the way the pings look. So there's a new scoreboard. Um, so they've added assists, uh, eliminations, deaths, and then it also shows for you. So for me right now, I can see objective contest time, weapon accuracy, jagged blade kills, jagged blade accuracy, carnage kills, wound uptime percentage, self healing, and rampage kills. This changes if I swap to Reinhardt. It shows me charge kills, fire strikes, fire strike kills, uh, knockback damage, etc. And then also, if you notice on the uh, on the scoreboard, it says damage. I don't know what the H is, um, but then MIT I think is damage mitigation. This way, you Someone can sh like to show off to your saddle. teammates that you know, hey, I'm not terrible. I'm actually doing a ton. You know, oh, heal H is healing. You're right. You're right. My bad. Um, I thought because I wasn't playing a support, it wouldn't it wouldn't show healing. I'm just dumb. Yeah. So you saw damage. Healing and damage mitigation. So if you're a if you're a tank player, actually, uh, let's say you're playing Rhine, and you have like fifteen thousand damage blocked, and you know your Ana has like two thousand heals or something like that, and they're not healing you very often, that might be why you're losing. You know, hold on, chat. There's a few things I, I know you're gonna want to see that I actually completely forgot is in this. So all of the classic skins are in as well as their updated versions here's diva for gun next doomfist classic doomfist versus new classic doomfist I like the, the fur he's got going on up here. Next up, Junker Queen. Okay, Junker Queen's just normal. So th this is a look at Junker. I've been doing all the, the classic skin, the new classic skins, but this is Junker Queen right now. So and we've all kind of seen it, but just another quick look. All right. Um, classic Orisa. Versus updated classic Arissa. Oh my god. That is sick. I'm not going to lie. This is so much better. This is a million times better than the original. Dude, this is trash compared to this. Next up. We've got Reinhardt. Classic Reinhardt skin. And hammer. Versus classic 2. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I actually don't like Ryan um, without his helmet on, but this is where I'm gonna actually make an exception. Roadhog. Roadhog classic. Versus classic two. Oh my god! Wait. He's actually just. I think he's bigger. I think his character model is a little bigger. That is sick. Mohawk, the, the new mask. Hey, yo. Hey, there we go. I like that one a lot. That's actually a really good, really good one. Sigma, classic Sigma. Versus. Classic two. I like this one. This is good. That is good. I hope that this is what we play, like what is more to come um, with Overwatch going free to play and getting more skins. All right, classic Winston. Versus classic two, new Winston. Winton. New Tesla cannon. Huh. 
Not bad. Not bad. Wrecking Ball. Classic Wrecking Ball. Versus a new classic Wrecking Ball. This looks cleaner. Goggles are nice too. Zarya. Classic Zarya. Classic two Zarya. Oh my god, they really did update her. Holy shit. A new hair. Are the tats are the tattoos new? Yeah, she actually got new tattoos. She got new ones. That is a lot better. I'm not gonna lie, this is like a million times better. Ash. Classic Ash. Versus new classic Ash. Holy shit. Actually, the glow up is real. All right. Bastion. Classic Bastion. Versus Bastion 2. He's got a hat. Classic Cassidy. Versus new Cassidy. The glow up. Alright. Echo. I'd, I'd be surprised if she has a huge change. She's the newest hero. In Overwatch 1. Classic Echo. Upgraded Echo. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. This is, I mean, Echo is the, technically like the newest hero, so it's not really much of a change. Can't really expect too much there. Classic Genji. Versus... Genji 2. New classic Genji. <whistles> classic Hanzo. Versus. Updated Hanzo. Oh my god. He does not mess around in this one. God damn. That glow up. Also, I'm glad he, I'm glad that with uh, free to play, Hanzo was able to afford a shirt. Junkrat, classic Junkrat versus new classic Junkrat. That tire looks way more menacing now. <whistles> May, classic May. Versus Classic 2. New updated May. They definitely made her a little thicker. Ah, uh, dude, you ain't you ain't fooling me. You ain't fooling me. Next. Farah. Classic Farah. Versus Updated Farah 2. They're nicer looking. Her hair looks really good, you're right. Her hair looks phenomenal. Uh, Reaper. Wait, wait a minute. Why is there... Hang on. There's two classic two Reaper skins. I gotta see this. Classic Reaper skin. Oh, please, tell me we got some leaks. This would be, this would be great. Versus Reaper 2. And then, oh, they're, they're both highlighted. Okay, it's just a bug. All right, so Reaper 2. All right, next. Sojourn, okay, Sojourn is new. Classic Soldier 76. Versus the now updated 
Classic 2, Soldier 76. Got going on up here right now. God damn. All right. Sombra. Classic Sombra. Versus Classic 2 Sombra. Symmetra. Classic Symmetra. Versus updated Classic 2 Symmetra. Oh my god. Dude, they really nailed the hair with with some of these characters. God damn. Torb. Classic Torbjorn. Versus Classic 2 updated Torbjorn. God damn. The braided beard. The braided beard goes hard. Tracer. Classic Tracer. Versus new updated Classic Tracer. Widowmaker. Classic Widowmaker Calm down chat Updated Widowmaker Supports Anna Classic Anna skin Versus the updated on a skin. Holy hell. These are good, good. Baptiste. Classic BAP versus updated classic two BAP. Man, look at look at the hair, dude. The hair is goes crazy. Go oh, break skin. Classic Brig versus updated Brig. Oh my God, Ma! Did a good job, Brig. Let me let me let me tell you, they did a they did a good job with Brig. Let me tell you, Lucio, classic Lucio versus. Updated Lucio. Ah, there we go. There it is. This is the skin we were looking for. This is the skin everyone was looking forward to when Overwatch 2 was originally announced. And now we finally got it. Nice. Nice. Mercy. Oh, man. Classic Mercy. Star of so much content. Mercy 2. <whistles> Rule 34 community going to have a field day. Moira. Classic Moira. Versus. Updated Moira. Just looks menacing. Is that arm color new? It's just more. Look at the arm color. It's so different. Oh my god. And last but not least, Zenyatta Classic versus Classic 2. Even Zen getting the glow up. Nice. Nice.